When I look at a long exposure of the night sky, I can't help but think. There are billions of stars out there, each one a sun, maybe with planets, maybe with life. It is impossible that we are the only intelligent beings in all of this. The math just doesn't support it. But here's the part that humbles me every single time. Even if life is out there, the time and distance scales are beyond what our minds can grasp. We live maybe a hundred years. Light from the nearest galaxy has been traveling millions of years just to reach us. That's not just far, that's forever, in human terms. To put that in perspective, Voyager 1, the farthest human object, has been traveling for nearly 50 years and still hasn't left our solar system's influence. It's 0.002 light years away. The nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.24 light years away. At Voyager's speed, it would take over 70,000 years to get there. And yet, the Milky Way alone has approximately 400 billion stars. And there are two trillion galaxies we can observe. So the chance of ever meeting another civilization? Almost zero. Not impossible, but so improbable that it feels like searching for a specific grain of sand. Somewhere on all of Earth, and yet, I think there's something profoundly beautiful in that. We are here, alive, aware, and looking outward. In this tiny window of cosmic time, we get to wonder. We get to capture it through our lenses and remember that we're a part of it all. If we ever do find signs of another civilization, it probably won't be a conversation. It'll be an echo, a signal, a trace, a relic of a species long gone. But even that would prove what we already know in our hearts. We were never alone. The universe is vast, maybe too vast for neighbors, but not too vast for meaning.